if at all possible, it's best to have your steel relatively level. Now, I see people from time to time, especially if they're very tall and their knees won't fit under the guitar, they run the back legs out and they have the guitar tilted way forward. Well, if you can avoid that, it's best to do so. Everything works better if you can have it pretty much flat. If you just won't fit under your guitar and you don't have any choice, well, then you don't have any choice. But having said that, how do you sit at it? How do you position yourself? Well, um, if you don't have like a, a regulation type uh, pack a seat sort of thing and you're using a chair or I've seen people use drum thrones, anything like that, if you can get the height of your seat to where the tops of your legs, once again, are more or less level when you're sitting down, that's going to help. Now, where do you sit at in relation to things side to side on the guitar? Well, I'm going to start out by talking about the right hand and how I know when I'm sitting in the correct spot. And that is, if I, I want my picks to fall, on most people's guitar, the best sounding place to play, the, sort of the sweet spot of the instrument, is up here around somewhere about um, between, I'll say, maybe like the 18th and the 20th, 24th fret, somewhere right along in here, is sort of where the guitar sounds the best when you pick it. So that's where I want my picks to be falling. And so if I put my picks down there, if I can situate myself, my seat, that is, where my arm is now pretty much parallel with the end plate of the guitar, then I know I'm in pretty good shape. In other words, if I'm sitting too far this way, I might be doing this sort of thing. And if I'm sitting too far the other way, I might be doing this sort of thing. I want things to be more or less straight. Now, the same is going to hold true with my left hand. When I have the bar in my hand, I want to be where things are more or less straight. Now, obviously, if I could reach way up here, then that's going to change things. But in that case, I'm just rotating my hand. But when I'm playing the overwhelming majority of the time, somewhere around in the middle of the neck here, more or less straight. Now, an interesting thing, I, I once heard somebody say, and this was a great quote, they said, your posture is your tone. So we want to sit more or less straight up, just exercising some good posture. But we don't want to put any tension into our body, so we don't want to like stretch our neck toward the ceiling or anything like that. We just want to make sure that our spine is pretty much in alignment, more or less straight up. Now, how far back do you sit from the steel? How far under it do you sit from the steel? Well, the answer to that question is, I want to have to sort of reach a little bit so that that helps keep this part of my arm in line. If I get too scrunched up under it, my elbows might fly out to the side. And we'll talk in a little bit here about why that's a bad thing. So if I sit where I have to reach out just a tiny little bit in order to keep everything straight, then I'm at a pretty good starting place for mechanics.